Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what does Taurus need to hear the most, please, angels, spirits, guides? Okay. <laughs> nice energy. We have the six of wands. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Message for Taurus, please. Message for Taurus, please, angels, spirits, guides. Okay. Thank you. Very nice with the six of wands. This remain positive. Okay. And I'm going to pull four cards, Taurus. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. The third card is advice from spirit. The fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. I'll do one more shuffle. Okay, message for our lovely Taurians, thank you. What does Taurus need to hear the most, please, angels, spirits, guides? Thank you. Okay, I've got a few cards here. Um, High Priestess, the Emperor, and the King of Swords. There you are, Taurus, in the challenge position, however. Six of Swords is advice from spirit. And your outcome, we... <laughs> I've got another Six of Wands. I get double cards in my reading sometimes. It's the way angel spirits guides want to emphasize a point to you or a message. So the Six of Wands is a victory. So it's a good energy. So let's clarify these cards and go deep into the message, please. For our lovely Torians, thank you. So we have the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> Six of Swords, twice now, in your challenge and also advice from Spirit. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I've got the Six of Wands again, Taurus, with the Six of Swords. That's funny. And the... Oh my goodness, you know, the Wheel of Fortune. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. Which is an energy of things are about to get better, that's for sure. Um, okay. It's appearing three times in your reading. I mean, Taurus, that's a beautiful sign when that happens. I mean, the three, it happening three times, the three is all about manifesting, um, manifesting something new, beginning to see the first signs of success, it happening in your conscious reality. And it's interesting because the three that I can see on the table is with the three of pentacles, very good in terms of money, career, business. Um, so some kind of significant success is coming your way. This is where somebody is challenged, they persevere and they overcome by their action, by being in their power that which opposes them and puts it behind them. This is a card of I'm putting troubles behind me and I'm claiming some significant success, achievement. And that's why you're being told to remain positive and keep taking action. The Six of Wands is a brave, is a brave energy. It's a, courage, a courageous energy. Um, stay in your courage, stay in your strengths. Um, remain very positive because for some of you, the significant achievement is coming. Wow.
the there's a kind of energy with the three of pentacles of i mean it can be the beginnings of success very good in terms of money career business jobs you know building a new business with other people again it can be a card of teamwork collaboration working on projects can also be this this kind of like the first signs of success here um, it might well be other people have supported you, guide you, giving you some advice, guidance, you know, help prioritise and that type of energy. Um, so it definitely feels in this situation, Taurus, there is some, the beginnings of success that you're building here. And there's an energy with the, the high priestess of trusting your intuition, acting on your intuition. And why do I say that? Well, the Emperor is about initiation, uh, taking the initiative, taking control of a situation that has challenged you. Um, because the Emperor is somebody who is in their power and they shape their reality. You know, we have the Staff of Life, we have the Orb, which represents the world. It's definitely an energy of shaping your world, your reality right now, by being in your true essence, your true soul power, your true soul light. Um, and again, this King of Swords is, it can be about putting a plan into action. It can be about taking control of a situation, taking authority, taking the initiative um, to where your intuition is leading you now and putting some kind of plan into action, some strategy into action. So it, it feels very beautiful. Now, it might well be for some of you that there could be some professional advice and guidance given to you. I mean, this can be in terms of money. You could have somebody professionally helping you towards the beginning of this success. Um, you might be seeking some kind of like financial counsel or business counsel or recruitment, you know, recruitment agents, that kind of energy. Um, somebody could be helping fulfill the plan with you, working together to, to, to bring this success about. But it definitely feels for some of you it's coming. And there is a message here, Taurus, your challenge position is, will it ever end? Will I ever get the shift? Will things ever, st will things ever, um, will I move out of troubled times? You know, the King of Pentacles, if you've had troubles in terms of finances, money, career, there's a message that you will soon move out of troubled times towards karma waters. Um, there's definitely an energy of there's better times ahead for you in this challenge position. So there's definitely an energy of, of now is the time to trust your instinct and act upon it. Take the initiative. You might be giving some help by somebody, King of Swords is male or female energy, um, to fulfill a plan, to put some kind of plan into action um, or some kind of advice or counsel. Um, professional consultant that's involved in this situation that is influential in helping you achieve this victory, that is helping you bring balance back into your life and harmony. Um, could be in terms of your money, career, finances, getting stability and security back in your life. So I love that kind of energy here. <laughs> so when you're asking, will it ever happen? Will it ever happen? Um, yeah, it will. You're gonna come through this situation and detach from troubles and not look back i like the energies of these two cards i mean the, the amount of sixes in this reading again they're divisions of three as well and i like the divisions of three in this reading as well because again there's an energy of manifesting something new but manifesting something new that, that is bringing harmony and equilibrium back into your life and again feeling pretty good about it i mean the the six of wands is a feel-good energy uh, feeling pretty good about some significant achievement soon to come your way. Uh, so definitely an energy of there are better times ahead, calmer waters ahead. You are going in the right direction. This is about staying on course. Um, being in your power, you know, having the power to shape your reality now the way you will, you want it. But there's an energy of you need to be in your power. Um, don't let, don't feel defeatist. You know, this is an energy of somebody who is not accepting defeat. They will keep going until they claim victory and success. 
so very very beautiful energy and again <laughs> The victory is coming, the significant success is coming, the achievement is coming. The Wheel of Fortune is things are, it can be that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. I mean, it's life cycle energies, but things are turning in your favour. And it's all part of you understanding what you're capable of. Uh, this experience is teaching you about your own power, your own capability in overcoming whatever comes your way and bringing positive change to your situation. And that's when the Wheel of Fortune rewards you for your effort. You know, the effort, the action, the perseverance that you've been putting into something is being rewarded here with the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, prosperity, abundance. It's very, very good in terms of, of business and career in particular um, because it is about fortune. I mean, it can be to do with opportunity. It can be to do with things turning in your favor. It is a card of obstacles being removed as well. Um, but definitely this kind of energy of there is change coming that is rest restoring, that is bringing the beginnings of success into your life, that is restoring equilibrium in your life as well. And it feels good. I mean, the, the, the Page of Cups is a feel-good energy. Um, can be a little bit unexpected here as well, Taurus, I have to say. Some kind of just, maybe, things just unexpe unexpectedly going in your favour this week. Things just unexpectedly um, moving, beginning to move quicker than you thought, they would, because the success is in your current position here. The Three of Pentacles uh, is definitely an energy of, this feels quite imminent. So there's definitely an energy of remain positive. What you've been putting your action into, there is some significant victory, some significant success coming this week. And it's good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, a little luck coming your way as well. Because again, this is divine timing, divine orchestration. Everything happens when it meant to happen. And everything happens for a reason as well, Taurus. So, and it's part of our own learning experience, our, our understanding of our own, the experiences that we go through teach us and make us grow as people. And that's that kind of like Jupiterian energy as well. So it definitely feels for some of you, you've learned a lot. And it's made you even stronger for going forward. And like I said, the Page of Cups can be some kind of opportunity that brings you joy, happiness. Uh, very, very beautiful energy indeed. So I'm going to pull a final card. Yeah. You know, I like this energy. We have lost and found. Because we have what was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. It does feel this energy of you are ready to... I mean, it might well be that there's been a discovery of self here as well, you know, in this energy. I mean, that six of wands is definitely this kind of like discovery of self, of my own power, of what I'm capable of now you know, and and deservedly claiming this victory. It can be a card of public recognition. I also think it's recognition from the universe as well, you know. There's an energy of, of getting recognition from the universe here um, for the effort that you've put into something. And that's why the shift is coming your way, because it's the energy of I'm not going to be defeated by this, I'm going to keep going until I overcome it. There could be somebody influential in your life helping you this week, Taurus as well, helping you to bring this positive shift your way. Um, so very, very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.